Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. How much further will things progress? Spoilers for General Hospital's Wednesday, March 6, 2024 episode center on characters going through powerful and beautiful moments, requiring consolation, and much more. This is an episode you should not miss. For Sunny, Morris Bernard, and Ava, Mora West, it's been a trying moment. The co-parenting roommates have faced a plethora of challenging circumstances, such as a seaside mishap in which his kid Dante, Dominic Zamprogna, sustained gunshot wounds and Jagger, Adam J. Harrington, accused Sonny of being unclean. But Sonny knew that Ava was all in and that he could rely on her completely. It makes sense that Sonny and Ava would have a heated exchange in this heightened environment. Given all of the feelings and emotions swirling around, this raises some inquiries. 1. Is this an isolated incident for now? Do we make of this moment something more? 3. Is this moment going to be discovered by anyone? Since Nana, Cynthia Watros, even though she and Sonny are headed for divorce, might find out, this might potentially be another crisis waiting to happen. Drew, Cameron Matheson, and Carly, Laura Wright, had prudently chosen to remain out of the conflict, even if most of their family and friends had a wild time down at the waterfront. That does not imply, however, that they are not attending to their own matters. Their hands are somewhat full. Managing profitable enterprises, raising their separate children, and resisting the temptation to get revenge on Nana are, let's see, on their lists of things to accomplish. Drew had to spend a lot of time on that last one. Laura, Ginny Francis, provides consolation elsewhere. Given that Hither Ally Mills recently attempted to kill Cyrus, Jeff Cover, do you believe she is consoling him? Or do you believe that she is providing consolation to Heather, who is returning to prison after trying to kill Cyrus and is still grieving over Esmond's Avery Kristen Pohl passing? Sunny and Olivia, Lisa Losicero, are alternative choices because their son is in the hospital battling for his life. It's obvious that a lot of Port Charles locals could use Laura's wonderful comforting touch. Keep an eye out for Maxie, Kirsten Storms, one of the women of deception, since she may suddenly get startled. Does Bradford Anderson Spinelli make a big show of gestures? Regarding Amanda Seton's character Brooklyn, there are hints that she confides in Jordan, Tanisha Harper. How on earth is she confiding in the deputy mayor? The greatest talks always happen by surprise. Although Cyrus Renault is free, Portia isn't giving him a pass. Characters on General Hospital have a wide range of transgressions, including murder, for which they are frequently pardoned, that is, unless you report certain people who have committed crimes on purpose to the SEC. However, let us discuss about one figure that speaks truth to power, Dr. Portia Robinson. The excellent doctor has sworn to provide medical assistance to others, but she hasn't sworn to forget or forgive anyone, least of all Cyrus Renault. Jeff Kober, the man who kept her and her daughter Trina, Taviana Alley, captive. Since the Pentonville jail door has once again shown to be revolving, Cyrus is no longer incarcerated. Even though the former convict may have meant well when he asked about Curtis's health, Portia, Brooke Care, wasn't interested. Even though Cyrus has professed to be redeemed, the good doctor couldn't help but recall how he had taken Trina and her prisoner. You truly believe that I won't remember that you scared my daughter and I in our house, the gunfire, and the confrontation, Corsia remarked, reminding Cyrus of the suffering he subjected Trina and her to. I never imagined I'd say this, but I agree with Ally Mills' Heather Weber. Keep away from my little one. Never, ever approach Trina again. Do you get that? I'll quickly call the police. It will make your head spin. Why don't soap opera characters have as long of memories as Portia? Is a question we have. The irony of it all is that as this interaction was taking place, Sunny, Maurice, Ava, Mora West, Selena Wu, Lydia Look, Anna, Finola Hughes, Jagger, Adam Harrington, Dante, 
Dominic Zempravna, and Chase, Josh Swickard, were engaged in another altercation with law enforcement. Jaggard and Ava were practically flirting, and Anna was worried about her friend Sonny. Though many on the PCPD frequently give Sonny a pass, it soon became clear that Jagger had not forgotten about Sonny's abuse of his late wife Karen, Carrie Shane. Indeed, he donates to the nurse's ball and the hospital. Yes, he does love his children, even though their father's connections to the mob frequently cost them dearly. However, he continues to frequently break the law. Why characters don't confront Sonny in the same manner that Portia won't tolerate Cyrus is a mystery to us. Is it really so forgotten that Sonny, acting at Ava's request, shot and killed AJ? Scene canon. The birth father of Michael, Chad Duell. Sonny has only ever shown sorrow for his impetuous deed because it caused him to breach his word to Michael. Although Sonny was set up to carry out the deed by Ava, he nevertheless squeezed the trigger. Ava is not a naive person. Do you recall how she murdered Kate Howard? Aka Kani Falconeri, Kelly Sullivan. For that, she avoided going to jail, much as Sonny did not spend much time in prison for killing AJ. Naturally, we want these actors and their roles on the screen, but given how AJ and Connie were killed, it seems strange that other characters don't find it awkward surrounding them. We can definitely see why Portia is unwilling to forgive Cyrus. The true query is, why does almost everyone in the community fail to recognize that Sunny and Ava are both heartless killers? A straightforward way to resolve this would be to disclose that Connie and AJ, whose deaths have been staged in the past, are both still alive in some capacity. Although it would be inconsistent with believability, it would also eliminate the possibility that Sunny and Ava had done the worst sin. Not that nobody ever makes them aware of that, mind you. This insignificant detail could have a big impact on Dante's survival. Since Jason returned and Dante took two gunshot wounds to the chest, Dante's life is currently in jeopardy on General Hospital. This week, while Dante battles for his life at GH, the So Opera may have unintentionally disclosed the character's demise. The cast is shown in a recent YouTube video wishing Steve Burton a happy return to the program, which you can watch below saying nice things about the actor and sharing their reactions to the return of the beloved character. This video has Dominic Zampragna, who plays Dante, alongside Burton, in an intimate behind-the-scenes shot while donning what looks to be a police outfit. It is significant that Zampragna wore this attire on site, and this small detail captured on video could have a great impact. The funeral of Dante's late partner Nathan West, Ryan Peavy, who was shot and died in the early months of 2018, may be remembered by viewers. While his PCPD colleagues paid their respects, West lay in his casket dressed in his police uniform. The fact that Zam Probnet is seen in this outfit could indicate a number of things, the most obvious of which being that Dunn dies from his gunshot wounds and is buried alongside Nathan. We were definitely taken aback by the costume selection. This is a must-see GH episode. This upcoming episode of General Hospital, scheduled for Wednesday, March 6, 2024, is expected to evoke strong emotions such as love, mistrust, fear, shade, and even curiosity. It would be prudent to not waste any time. Maxie, Kirsten Storms, makes another guess as to who has been meddling in her life. This time, she must be aware of it. Sasha, Sophia Matson, and Cody, Josh Kelly, attempted to act as matchmakers between her and Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, right? In the meantime, Cody admits that spending time with Sasha, who later discovered she likes Cody, is a benefit of working as a matchmaker. What is Sasha's response? Cynthia Watro's character Nan attempts to persuade someone to believe in her most likely Alexis, Nancy Lee Gron, in the Invader headquarters. No one in Port Charles seems to be able to do that for whatever reason. Why is Ava Mora West there checking in with him instead of Sonny? Morris Bernard, Spinelli asks. He needs to understand that Ava is the only person in Sonny's trust circle. Is Alexis answering Nana when she states that she isn't convinced? 
Since Nanan is now the invader's publisher, she will have to accept this fact. If she does, it will be a lot less unpleasant in the long term. Surgery is necessary as soon as possible for a wounded Dante, Dominic Zempragna, who has his followers speculating about what will happen to his character. Dr. Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, though is unsure if he is robust enough to survive the procedure. At last, Olivia, Lisa Lo Cicero, demands to know if Sonny was involved in her son's shooting and subsequent struggle for his life. What will be the distressed mob boss's reaction? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.